Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video tutorial, we will learn that how we can append uh, multiple Excel files, which is in CSV format, in Microsoft Excel through Power Query. So let's say we have a folder on our local hard drive and uh, we have a daily basis one Excel CSV file format and every file contains a certain number of records uh, as a data and we need to combine or stack them together or you can say append together uh, not by the manual approach but using power query inside microsoft excel okay so how are we going to do that now this particular situation is based on um, multiple csv files format but i will also tell you if you have excel format files then the treatment would be a bit different so let's get start. We'll open a Excel, a new Excel file, which is blank. And uh, we will go to the data tab. Okay. So here you can see on the very left side, you have get and transform group, which is uh, known as the power query section. So what we'll do, we'll click on get data. From this menu, we'll go to from file and we will not import one by one Excel workbook or CSV format files but we will select a connector called from folder okay so let's click on from folder let's paste in here and let's click open now it will establish a connection now this particular window showing us the uh, metadata okay and uh, this shows that how many files are there i mean which names are their extensions and their date modified date access or create now what we do is we'll click on combine at the very bottom and here you can see combine and transform what it will does is it will combine the data and get into the power query or we need to exclude the power query window so we can do combine and load uh, and then the data would be fetched on the main spreadsheet. Combine and load to is an option where the Power Query combine the data from multiple CSV files and load to, and we can establish a connection and then we can add to the data model to the Power Pivot if our data is, uh, is too large, okay? So we'll talk about this later on, but what we need is combine and transform at this point of time. So we'll click on it. That starts evaluating our query and now it shows us a window again uh, combined files now as we know that we have uh, a daily basis data uh, a daily date data as in csv format number one and we have from first of january till 12th of january and what user does is every day uh, from the erp software he extracts the data and put it into that folder so eventually uh, the very next day he will put and paste that CSV format file in that particular folder. So we'll uh, be appending uh, data from each of the file. Now what does this mean? I mean the very first question will come in your mind that uh, what I need to pick from this particular drop down list either I need to pick 4th of January or I can go with the first file. The first file shows you 1st of January 2025, right? Now the basic assumption or you can say limitation in this particular use case is that um, each of the file contains the equal number of columns, okay? So for example, each file contains eight number of columns inside it. It, it does not matter if any column is being uh, coming at the third number or in any other file, it could be coming at the sixth number. Uh, but the columns are there, the columns are similar. Uh, but for example, in, in, in the uh, different scenario for 1st January, if this file contains 10 columns, but the 2nd January contains 12 columns. So we need to pick the, the best file which contains the maximum number of columns so that the pattern should be uh, similar for each of the file to append the data. Otherwise, that columns would be skipped in that scenario. So at this point of time, what we are trying to uh, have an assumption that each of the file contains equal number of columns and the headers are uh, also same in nature. I mean, uh, in, in the first January file, for example, the headers are in capital and the second January file, the headers are in a small letter. So Power Query will not be able to append that. So uh, definitely the Power Query uses the case sensitive things. Um, 
very importantly so our headers are in similar formats plus the number of columns are in uh, equivalent in this scenario okay so whatever the file you pick here doesn't matter so we'll go with the first file okay so we choose the first of january 2025 file let's click ok now it's enabled so that will open a power query uh, editor window in next few seconds so as you can see here so when i open this source dot name you can see the all the data from 12 files exactly coming and, and that's being appended successfully so you can see 3rd of january then we have uh, 4th of january and all the columns uh, data coming in a right manner okay now what we need is we need to append the data and also we need to create the uh, average of that balance as in customer wise we need to make it summarize as well okay and eventually in this scenario what we are trying to discuss is that i will not load this data from multiple files to our main excel workbook because it because you know that in microsoft excel uh, the sheet has a maximum number of uh, 1 million uh, rows right but what happens that the when the user is fetching data and it has more than 1 million of rows like 4 million 5 million 10 million so we will append the data what we are doing is we are appending the data from multiple csv format files of excel uh, into the power query but we will load this uh, to the power pivot instead of going to the main interface of spreadsheet so we will say that uh, appended data appended data we rename this okay and let's click on close and load not close and load now if i click on close and load it will open a new sheet in my excel interface and that loads the entire data and as i told you that the best practice would be to uh, make sure that you append the data through power query and make it load to the power pivot because it has more rows as compared to the main interface so we'll click on close and load too that will open a window here so we'll click only create connection and we'll check mark this add this data to the data model okay let's click ok now what happens the process will run here and you can see the status on the very right side in the queries and connections um, menu here okay and the data is not here now where is data has been gone as i told you that um, we selected the connector as a folder we appended the data through power query that's still available there uh, but the data is not loaded on the main spreadsheet uh, that is gone on to the when you go to the power pivot you click on manage or from the data tab you also have this icon okay data model so when you click that will open up a power pivot for excel now here is your data from all those uh, 12 different files okay csv files now what i will do is i have just next uh, to this uh, go here uh, and i will create an explicit measure for average of the balance column here so i will use a formula bar or i can also use this uh, icon as well for having the calculation for average so i can write uh, the tax using an explicit measure or i can click here for average for a quick calculation so it lets me click here and that gives me the average of balance okay uh, balance column right let's see here okay this is the average and we will use this explicit measure based on e for each of the customer name customer id as well okay now now what we will do so we'll click create a pivot table here very simple let's go to home and you will see the pivot table feature here let's click on pivot table now it will ask where i need to create a pivot so we'll create it on the existing worksheet right here on the a1 cell let's click ok and now we have this appended data so we have customer id okay and we have the average of balance column uh, you see that fx uh, symbol this is the explicit measure let's click here and these are the averages for each of the customer okay and if we see date wise uh, what we can do here is let me copy this power pivot let's move to next and here we will exclude the customer id and we will put the date here 
so eventually we have a 12 different files as you see and we have we will not take the average of balance but we will take the balance column here okay so this is exactly same because i have just uh, copied and pasted all those uh, file column numbers they, that are exactly the same so that's absolutely right now next step is for example if the user goes to the, that folder and the very next day after 12 january he extracts some data from that software and put it that csv file here for example 13th of january let me paste that 13 january so now 13 january has been pasted right now next thing is that what i need to do here so i will go to the data tab and i will click refresh all as soon as i refresh you will see a change here okay and change in, in these numbers as well so let's refresh and see automatically the 13th of january has been added here because i changed some uh, some numbers here so that you can relate and the average balance has also been updated so we can format that from the home tab okay so now see just with one click your appended from the power query has been done and automatically in the power pivot as uh, this has been reflected so you have also automated the process as well so now what happens on the very next day when the user put more csv files he just need to go to the excel go to the data and refresh all and all the process will be run on the back end so that's how we can use power query to append the data from multiple csv files okay. all right now in the second situation if the user has a folder which contains different excel files now this is not a csv format this is uh, the main dot xlsx format okay so we have five files you can imagine as 20 50 100 files as you want to but uh, the logics and the execution will remain the same so i have put just five uh, excel files now i want to append the data so uh, what would be the steps would be different as in compared to csv which we have just see uh, in the demonstration so we'll go to the data we'll click on get data from file from folder we'll copy and paste that folder path and let's click open now because we are appending the excel files and we know that each excel file contains some data and the name of the sheets will be different inside those excel files so it, at this point of time we will not be able to successfully execute combine and transform or combine and load because in the csv it it, it is okay with the different uh, file names it accepts but as an excel files uh, uh, we'll click on the transform data that will open a power query editor and we need to add a short m language code with some basic uh, tips and tricks and transformation so at this point of time we just need uh, these two columns the content and the name okay we don't need the other column so we'll select contain content so we'll select content name right click remove other columns and we'll add a custom column so go to add column click on custom column and let's name that as data and or any other name you would like to the code is excel excel dot workbook round bracket open double click on content round bracket close and click ok so now it added a custom column name as data and when you open this filter menu you will find uh, certain columns just uncheck use original na column name as prefix okay that's you need to take care of click ok now our data is coming from the sheets because we don't have table inside it we don't have structured references so data is coming from the sheet of every file now what we need is again we'll open this drop down menu the column name is data.1 this time and see there are columns here let's click ok and now the data has been fetched from here but one thing you will see here that this header from every file is being repeating now we need to do some transformations uh, let's say we don't need this column now let's remove this we don't need this one as well remove we also don't need uh, item kind and hidden as well so right click remove now we will make this first raw as uh, headers okay so let's uh, 
we don't need this one as well i think right remove so to make the first choice headers we'll click use first choice headers okay and then open this drop down menu let's uh, unselect the customer name okay let's unselect the customer name all right so we have excluded all the headers which were coming on repeating from each of the file now our data is being appended successfully right now what we'll do is close and load if you go with the first option that will open a sheet and load the data on the spreadsheet but if you're dealing with the big data and you think that in future if it would be more than 1 million so the best way is to click close and load to and make only create connection and check mark add this data to the data model that will definitely go to the power pivot side and from there we can uh, use some uh, the same process will be done uh, which i have done in this video earlier for the csv files and eventually what happens next time when the user puts more excel files into that folder he just need to go in the data and click on refresh all so that's how you manage your uh, appending uh, things uh, on daily basis at your workplace so i hope you like this video thank you